Okay, so we've come to the last major type of force that we have to talk about in Physics 11. You've learned about the gravitational force, the normal force. You've seen examples of applied forces like pushes and pulls on objects, force of friction, spring force. And the last thing that we have to add to that list of forces is the force of tension. So to illustrate the effect of the tension force, what I want to do is I want to consider a tug of war. Now there's a few too many people in this picture. It's going to complicate things a little bit. So let's simplify it down to the picture below where we have just the boy and the girl, boy tugging to the left, girl tugging to the right. And what we want to do is we want to draw a free body diagram for the boy here and look at all the forces that are acting on him. So obviously he's got a force of gravity pulling him into the earth downwards. And reacting against that, the sand is pushing at his feet up to keep him from falling through the ground. So there's the normal force. And we know that he's applying a force to the left in this tug of war in an attempt to win the game. Let's just give a number to this. We'll call his applied force 100 newtons. Now, if we left the problem here, and we thought about what this free body diagram would mean for the boy, it would mean that there's an unbalanced force to the left. If there's an unbalanced force, according to Newton's second law, there must be an acceleration in that direction. But we know that from this picture, the boy is not winning. He's in a deadlock with the girl, which means he can't be accelerating to the left. And so if he's not accelerating to the left, it means we're missing a force in our free body diagram there must be a force pulling back to the right. It's tempting to call this force the force of the girl, but as you'll notice in the picture, there's a pretty big distance between the boy and the girl. So the only thing that actually has an ability to pull the boy to the right is the rope. In other words, this is the tension in the rope that's pulling the boy to the right. We can also say that because the boy is in a deadlock in this tug of war with the girl, that it has to have the same magnitude, 100 newtons of force, pulling him back to the right. So now that we have our forces balanced, we can say that the acceleration of the boy is zero meters per second squared. So flipping over to the other side of the tug of war, if these two are in a deadlock, that means the girl, who's got her own normal force, her own force of gravity, must be pulling back with a similar 100 newtons. And again, because we know that these two are tied, the girl's tension force that's pulling her back to the left also has to be equal to 100 newtons. Now the effect of this is that the tension in the rope is pulling both the boy in towards the right and it's pulling the girl to the left with the same force. So just for another example of where you can see tension, if you imagine holding up a weight with a piece of rope, you can draw a free body diagram for the weight. So the weight has a force of gravity pulling it downwards. So you can label that W, or I'll keep consistent and I'll label it FG. And your hand, which is not directly connected to the mass, can't apply a direct force to that mass. So it's not going to show up in the free body diagram of the mass. The only thing that's connected to the mass that could possibly apply a force is the rope. So that means there's an upward tension in the rope that's pulling the mass upwards. And again, we can do the same thing for the hand. If I draw a free body diagram for the hand, you're applying that upwards force. And while it's tempting to say that you're fighting against the weight of the block, you're not fighting against it directly because you're not holding on to the mass that's pulling down directly. What you're really pulling against is this force of tension that's in the rope pulling your hand down. 
And what we can say about these two tensions is that they're equal. So what that means is that the tensions in a rope are equal along the rope at any point. 